Let's go! Computer programs contain a lot of information. Think about some of the games you love to play. The code that makes up the program for a game needs to include instructions for everything the player sees and does. This would include the setting, characters, colors, objects, and interactions, just like in a story or a movie scene. All of this information is stored in the game code. For most games, like Asteroidia in Codable, almost everything you see is a variable. A variable is something that can change, or vary. So it makes sense that a game would be made up of a bunch of variables, right? Without them, nothing would ever change, and playing the game would be really boring. So what exactly is a variable? You can think of a variable like a container that holds information. The information, or data, stored in a variable is called the value. Let's say you are thirsty, so you grab a cup from your cupboard. The cup is clear glass and you can see that it is empty. You fill the cup up with water. Now the cup looks like it has changed, the color is blue. However, the cup itself is not different at all. It is simply the storage container for the liquid you chose to put in it. You can fill it up with lemonade or orange juice or any other liquid, and it still won't change the cup itself. In this example, your cup acts just like a variable, and the liquid you put into it is a value. So we know variables can hold all different kinds of values, just like a cup can store lots of different kinds of liquids. In coding, we can label a variable based on the type of value that it stores, just like you could label the cup based on the liquids inside. In programming, there are many different types of values that can be stored in a variable, but in Codable, we focus on three, strings, integers, and arrays. Let's break these down really quick. Some variables can store values that are characters or words called strings. Strings are everywhere in games, from names, to instructions, to colors, anything described with letters. If a variable is assigned a string value, we can label it a string variable. In Codable, we use colored fuzzballs to represent string variables. Some variables can store number values, called integers. In a game, these would be helpful for determining volume, difficulty, or speed. These number values are stored in an integer variable. In Codable, we use numbered fuzzballs to represent integers. The final type of variable in Codable is an array. This type of variable stores both integers and strings in an ordered list. In Codable, arrays are shown with these brackets and can store both the colored and numbered fuzzballs in sequence. Remember, variables store values that don't have to be permanent. Just like liquids in a cup, the value can change or vary, but the variable stays the same. Now it's your turn. Practice assigning values to variables in Codable's Asteroidia game and Game Designer. In Asteroidia, you match the colored fuzzball variables on the left with asteroids of equal value on the right. If the variable meets an asteroid of equal value, the asteroids will clear. Let's try one more level that is a bit harder. I'll start by storing all the same values that I see in the asteroids. Let's try it. Uh-oh, it looks like I don't need every value I saw. That's okay, these are variables, so as the programmer, I can change the values. Remember, we want to keep code short. The asteroids will clear themselves if like values match, so I just need two blue fuzzball variables, and gravity does the rest. Hooray! We kept our code short and cleared the asteroids. In Game Designer, you call the shots. Choose from the many variables you want to change and make the value something different. Now you can give it a try yourself. Happy coding!